Welcome to Hack or Whack. Yeah, Hack or Whack is what I'm calling this series. I told you guys on Snapchat that I wanted to do like a hack testing kind of beauty um, hack or any kind of hack testing video and I wanted to let you guys know if what I thought about it and if it worked for me or not. So we are going to call this Hack or Whack. Uh, I know there's probably a lot of other like you know series on other people's channels called this but I mean it's not a big deal not like they own the words so I'm gonna stick with hack or whack unless you guys have better suggestions and today for my very first video we are gonna see if you can use a spoon to do a cut crease uh, I know I recorded a cut crease on my channel and it, I'll link it down below for you guys. Uh, so I saw this video floating around of this beautiful girl basically using a spoon like this um, on her eye and then she just did a cut crease look with it and I wanted to see if it actually worked because if it does work, I mean this is great for beginners, um, for people like myself as well who just are lazy and don't really want to put in that much work, you know, just working in that crease. I would love to see if this works and I have not tried it out. I'm going to try it out in front of you guys with just doing it. So let's get right into it. I don't want to get into too much talking, you know, before we begin. This foundation routine should be up in the next few days. I recorded it for you prior to this video because I wanted to show you guys how I do my foundation for when I record or when I'm going out. And also, no, I did not dye my hair. You guys should know by now. Or if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know. This is just a wig. Um, and I'm wearing it. I think it looks very nice. So let's just get right into it. We are going to test this spoon out. Oh, ugh, I almost fell. <laughs> I, almost, I almost fell. Sorry, that was probably the ugliest face ever. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to use my beautiful Tartlet, plant, uh, Tartlet in Brown palette because it's beautiful. So I do want to zoom in for you guys, which I should probably do that. Let me let me come in closer. So we're going to start off by priming our lids. As always, I'm just going to use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just going to warm it up in my fingers and then apply it to my eyelids. Alright, I'm going to quickly just set it with um, just a neutral color, which is Charmer. Oh, sorry, Flower Child in um, the Tartlet palette just because it's going to help with the blending process. So now once that is on, we're going to get right into it. So basically in this video, the girl has this kind of spoon and I wish I got a white spoon, but as you can see, actually, you know what, I'll get a white spoon because it'll help you guys see a clear spoon does not do anything. So basically you need one of these spoons here, which is kind of tapered off at the end because it kind of gives like the um, a shape kind of like your eyes. There are like rounder ones, which I wouldn't suggest as I think this would be the perfect shape because it'll go like right under your eye, you know? Now, the problem is, it's not like, I mean like I guess it like fits, but you guys see how like it's not, if I put the spoon it literally covers my whole eye. So I feel like I'm going to have to like go down, find my socket, you know what I mean? And just like push it in there. So let's just try it with that. Get your spoon, find the, um, I don't know, find the crease I guess. I'm kind of nervous for this. I have no idea. Like I guess, I, like my crease is right here. So like, I mean I guess, like, I guess. Okay, anyway, so I'm going with it. I'm going to grab a fairly light color, nothing too crazy, and hold on, I'm going for it guys, like I can see how this trick works because like it will give you such a serious cut crease, I just don't know, okay, so do you guys see that? Ooh wee. It kind of went a little too high. So I will um try to just Okay. But like do you if you guys notice like right here, this is the line here is like very, very uh precise. It's just here at the end where I kind of went too high, so I can try to maybe position my um, spoon a little bit of a different way. Um, then in the next clip, she had a more tapered 
brush, not tapered, but more like of a pencil brush. So let's try this time to like maybe go downwards because last time I was kind of like this. Maybe, so we go back into our crease and we bring it down like that. So now I'm going to take a darker color. I mean, let's just go for it. So once again, I'm finding my thing and let's do this. All right, let's go. Once again, I feel like it's going a little too high. Oh gosh, let's see. Oh, I mean, it's not bad at all, right? Like that's a really straight line. Like I can see how it works because you guys see like literally right down here, you don't have to clean up anything. So like I see how it's so, so useful. Only thing that I don't like is how the spoon is taking it straight out like this. I wish it was kind of curving or it was curving down because look, if I look at you guys like this, do you notice how my, it's just like going straight out like that? I wish it would come down a little bit, but this cut crease area could, this cut crease um, hack could really just work for like your inner part like right here because that looks great. It's just this end part where I'm going to fix right now. The girl who did it, I mean, it looks awesome on her. Oh, I really just wanted to try it out to see like if we can do it. Which I feel like it's a useful thing. Like, do you guys see how cut that crease is? Um, maybe if I take like a blending brush, let's take a blending brush and like a lighter color and try to blend it out and see if, uh, See if that helps out the situation. The only thing I'm not liking is the fact that I still will have to probably go in by myself and do this little end part right here. So like my cut crease is actually supposed to be down going this way rather than out that way. I still like the idea and I get the concept of it because it does like, you know, cut the crease. I just, I don't, like, can you do a full cut crease with it? I don't know. I feel like you, there is a certain way to hold it. I don't know. Like, either way, you still have to do a lot of blending because it is so harsh. And as you guys can see, it's not really, like, it's not doing that good for me. So it's just taking me lo a longer time to, like, blend everything out. Whereas if you were just a little bit more careful just doing it freehand, you would just avoid all of these problems. So I'm just going to take a more denser brush and, like, kind of clean up down here and stuff. No. Let's try one more time. Let's try it again, man. Let's try it. Let's see if I can fix this. Like, I just trying to, I'm really trying to figure out uh, how to place this without it getting messy on me. Like if I take this and I aim, maybe if I angle it downwards like this guys and see if that works. Is that any better? I mean that's a, that's better. That's a lot better. So I think you have to angle it downwards when you're doing it like this. So you can literally like go on your socket. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not bad. I mean, that's not bad at all. This this could work. I think I was just doing it wrong. And now if you literally just take a blending brush and just blend this part out, um, I think it's great. Let's try the other eye because I just realized how to use it. That's not bad. For a spoon where you didn't have to worry about exactly where all your eyeshadows went, that's not bad at all. Let's try the other eye this time. Let's see if I get it in the first try. And now when we hold it, I think this time, instead of going up here, I'm going to be going down like this. And I can literally just focus on the socket. I feel it. Like this time, I, this time I actually will, f I feel it in my eye socket. Like, you know when you're doing a cut crease and you can feel it in your socket? That's exactly where I'm feeling this brush. So I'm going to go downwards. Remember last time I was holding like this? This time let's hold downwards and see if this works. Do you guys see how it's literally a cut crease like right here? And then the top part doesn't matter because we're going to blend all this out anyway. Like I can just start blending that right now. That is actually really cool. I really, I like this eye a lot better than this eye. Just going to put on some mascara. I don't want to do falsies. 
and I'm using the Tarte Light, ca Light Camera Flashes Mascara. Of course, you could probably take your sweet time and make this look a lot better, um, but I did want to just show you guys like literally how it was like, you know, kind of like a first impression, no fixing. As you can see, it's not as blended as it, I would like it to be. Um, but if you look closely, like on this side especially, like where the cut crease is, it's fairly a strong cut crease. So, I mean, I can see where this works and I can see how it got so much recognition. So, in terms of whether I think if it's a hack or if it's whack, I think if, you, if it's done correctly, you know, with holding the spoon and stuff, I definitely think it's a hack. I feel like for people who are just starting out or have trouble doing cut creases, this would be something very easy and fun for them to try. If you guys liked me trying this out, I know it may not have been something super special, but this thing did intrigue me. Let me know if you guys wanted me to try out any other hacks for you, if you have any suggestions, or if you liked this kind of video, let me know because then I'll keep doing it for you, of course. And um, that's it for today. Once again, this foundation routine will be up in the next few days for you guys because I did record it prior to this and thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the love from every single one of you um and i will see you guys in my next video